Hi everybody. I'm holding today's project and I want to wonder if you can guess what it is before we get started. So this is something that I'll put out in my garden and it helps out some of our friends who can provide for the vegetables before we eat them. Do you have any guesses? Hmm. If you said this was a beehive or an insect home, you are right. But it's not for a honeybee like we normally think of when we think about pollinators. This is for a solitary bee. I figured we'd make a solitary bee home today because we're spending a lot of time in our own houses or inside and there are certain types of insects that live their lives like that all the time. So I'm going to show you how to make this project but I also wanted to show you this paper right here and I'm going to link to this in the video. This is so many other ways to build an insect home. So you could go outside today and follow these steps, make an insect home for any type of insect you would like to. But the type we're making is for solitary bees or mason bees. To get this project started, what you will need is a can or maybe like a cup or a oatmeal container, anything like that. And it should be about six inches long so that there's enough room for these bees. And then you need some sort of paper, or I used scrap paper from a um, paper bag that I got at the grocery store. So I'm trying to use only recycled materials here. And then you will need some tape and scissors. And then if you want somewhere to hang this, you're probably gonna need some string and you could even decorate this if you'd like to. So I'm about nine tenths of the way done with mine here, but I'm gonna show you how to finish it up. So what I've done is taken a whole bunch of pieces of my paper bag here and I made sure that it's about as tall as my can and long enough that I could wrap something around it a couple times and I'm using a pencil. So these mason bees, these solitary bees, really like small homes that they can lay their eggs in and then cap so that the uh, new bees, the baby bees will hatch. So you need to make it really, really tight. So what I'm gonna do is take this piece of paper, this. Uh, paper bag here and wrap my pencil wrap really 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 tight so it looks like this and if you have somebody else helping you out this project they could tape that piece on otherwise you should grab a piece of tape you could even line up a whole bunch so that you're ready to go and then I will put that piece of tape on slide it off my pencil and tuck that into my can, just like that. Again, you can use any container you'd like to. So I'm gonna keep going with it. I'll show you one more. I wrap my pencil with this paper bag that I've cut and make it really, really, really tight. Again, somebody else might help me put the tape on, but you can put another piece on like that. This would be a great family project to do because then you could get it done really quick and everybody could help roll or somebody could have the job of taping and get it done super quick. So then I put that in and I'm gonna make sure that I make my can really, really tight. So after done on this video, I'll probably add about 10 more to this one. This one looks like it's kind of falling apart already, so I might redo this one. But I see that there's space up at the top for about 10 more. And I keep going. And then this, I like to hang off the ground. So I have a tree limb that I think I'm going to hang it on, or maybe you hang it off of a bird feeder. Anywhere that's off the ground, that's safe for the bees to hang out, but maybe not too close to your door or any space that you want to live so that the bees don't bother you and you don't bother them. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to put a post, a link for the lesson plan that goes along with this video that has that picture that I was talking about and has more of an explanation of how to do the whole project. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.